Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Soundwave. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, one on foil and one on vinyl backing. So now, let's go ahead and grab those tweezers and get to Haxing Core Class Soundwave. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Okay, I got Soundwave transformed into his cassette player mode, got his weapons laid out there, and the two decal sheets here. Now, if I'm a little quieter than normal, it's because it is 7.30 here on Friday morning, the day after Thanksgiving, and my family is still passed out from their food coma from yesterday, so bear with me if I'm a little bit more mellow than usual. So I've got both of the decal sets here. The smaller one looks like it's just some red stripes that are gonna go around the weapons and I believe Soundwave's forearm. So I'll probably do those last. But the main decal sheet right here is this one on foil backing. And it looks like we do have a couple options right there for the window on Soundwave's chest or you know the front, the cassette door. Now, taking a quick look at Soundwave in cassette mode, I love this. This is so G1, aside from the way they have his feet sticking up like cat ears. I don't understand Hasbro and why they cannot fix feet to where they transform right. I mean, it almost looks better just to mistransform him and have it looking like that. But still, this is a great figure in probably one of my top 10 for the year. I'm actually working on that list right now. Now, somebody posted about this guy on Facebook the other day and another person commented that he would not buy this figure just for the simple fact that this little laser beak does not transform. Well, buddy, you're missing out on a pretty cool figure. So now let's go ahead and get this guy all toy hacked up. I do love what Toy Hacks does for these modern Soundwave figures. I've got uh, all my other ones Toy Hacked up, except the Netflix version. I've got that decal set in. I just have not had the time to get it applied. So first things first, let's take a look at the window here. Now this, the window right now, is translucent black plastic, which really doesn't look bad. And even if you have laser beak in Soundwave's chest here with the red facing out, whoops, you still don't see it that bad. I mean, it's there, but it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. But still, I like to hide the tapes on the inside. And I think I'm actually, let's see, I'm gonna go with the blue. It's just more of an animated look. So get our fine tip tweezers here, find that corner. Be very careful as you peel. And there's also, if you see it, there's a cut section right there because you're gonna to have to place that decal around that little gold arrow. I do like the paint applications on this guy. So let's see how to get this peeled and get that arrow punched out. These tiny ones can sometimes be a problem. There we go. Very be gentle, be very gentle. Let's see if we can go ahead and peel that off of the whole thing. There we go. So that little scrap there, we'll just stick on the back. Because if I don't, I'll probably find it on my body later on. I've actually had Toy Hex decals pop off, totally disappear, and then I find them a couple days later when I'm in the shower or something, stuck on the back of my arm. All right, so there we go. We've got that decal off. You can see the little hole 
cut. So now we're just gonna line it up on the door. So you've gotta line it up on over the arrow and around the edges of the door. Probably have to add music to this video because you might be able to hear my dog. <laughs> he's, he's laying below me, snorting and chewing on something. So there we go. I got that on actually pretty good. I don't like the fact it covers up the Decepticon logo, but there are extra Decepticon logos right here. Let's go ahead and apply one of those. That catch that edge. So, nice Decepticon logo. Get that right in the middle. It's actually a small Decepticon logo. I may see if I can find a bigger one. So there we go. We've got the door done. I do like that blue. Let's see what's next. I've got the Toy Hack sticker map over here on my computer. Uh, let's see, he's got, let's see. I'm looking at robot mode. Let's switch over to player mode. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some speaker decals right up here on the corner. And those are these right there. So, let's see how that matches up. Let's go ahead and peel this one right here. All right, so it doesn't go that way. It, it's for this side right here. Line that up, press it down, and there we go. Now, I like, it looks like a, a speaker. You got the little holes, but I think my light, it's very reflective, so you might not be able to see all the details with the light, but there's one. I like doing the toy hacksing of these core class figures like this because they're a lot simpler to do than some of the larger figures. Now some of the Micro Masters are a challenge because Toy Hacks likes to give me those teeny tiny decals to put on. So there we go, there's the speakers. What's next? We got the record battery decal right there and that's a nice throwback to the G1 toy. Get that peeled off. And that's going to go right here in this blue section, right between the two gray pieces. Get that lined up. So there's our record battery decal. Next up, is the other one on the opposite side. It's a stereo micro cassette recorder. It's gonna go right here. Let's see, did I get that straight? I did not. That's why I never really press hard unless I am sure. Right there we go, and I believe that is everything for the micro cassette mode. And I like that, that looks good. Nice throwback to the generation one toy. So let's go ahead and get him transformed into robot mode. Super simple transformation, just like G1. Just pop those legs around, flip those feet down, swing the arms out, and Get the head out there. So there you go. There's Soundwave in robot mode. Great looking Soundwave. I love this figure. This is one of my, like I said, one of my favorite core class figures. They knocked it out of the park with this guy. So let me go ahead and switch over to the robot mode sticker map. Okay, first things first is we're going to put some decals on his thighs. And it looks like this one's there we go. Sliding off a little bit. It's on that mushroom peg. 
was sliding forward and I've got the legs backwards. There we go. That looks a lot better. So thigh decals are these red ones right here. And it's shown that the triangle, there's a little yellow triangle that is pointed down. Sorry about that. I actually had a phone call while I was recording and it stopped recording. I need to put this in airplane mode. I keep forgetting about that. So anyway, we got these red decals right here. Make sure the yellow arrow is facing down. And we'll put this thigh decal. If you can see, there is an indentation right here. Get that lined up. Now this piece has a little bit of a curve to it. So you kind of get your thumb in there. Get that pressed in good. So there we have one thigh done. I can get out this other one. And do the same thing. Find that little indentation there. And there we go. So we got the sound waves thigh decals. Next up, it looks like we've got new decals that are going to cover up the paint applications right here on the shoulders. Now, I thought that looked pretty good, but it looks like we're going to get some with a little bit more detail. So get that peeled off. Let's see, I need to get that turned around more of an angle. Line it up, press it down, and there we go. So yeah, that makes a little bit of a difference. Go ahead and do this here on the other side. All right, there's the shoulders done. What do we have left? We've got these little tiny decals right here and these look like they go on the knees they get in this little slot right there see where the little three rectangles are that's where those go so let's get that peeled actually went on easier than I thought. You can sometimes hear me holding my breath when I put these on. Don't want to breathe too hard and knock it off the tweezers. Let's see. Yes, I never sleep in. I usually I stay up late. I get up early. And usually early morning is the best time to shoot reviews before my wife and Dylan get up so I can have a little bit of peace just me and the dog so there we have that and that pretty much covers all the decals for Soundway but we got some cool interior decals for the inside of his chest so let's go ahead and pop this door open so right here on the inside is this decal here which shows an Energon cube being filled up if you can catch that it's got some nice shiny foil pink metallic details there I like that so you uh, if you're familiar with the G1 cartoon which you should be if you're watching my channel you remember that Soundwave was the one that always produced the Energon cubes so there's that decal we're gonna put this right here inside the door that lined up just right this is gonna go on the edge because you got these little hinges down there sometimes these are hard to get in just right okay there we go cool so there's that readout he can actually you know he's looking at his chest is see how the energon project production is going so now Here's a really cool one. We've got Buzzsaw. So I, I like this. Poor old Buzzsaw just does not get any love 
in the main line anymore. I couldn't tell you when's the last time we actually had a buzzsaw figure. Titans Return maybe when they turned into those little PDAs or whatever. So buzzsaw is going to go right here. That actually lined ah didn't grab. There we go. That lined up pretty good. So now we got buzzsaw inside sound waves. You can have laser beak and buzzsaw in. So that's pretty cool. So I dig that. That's pretty creative. All right. So that's sound wave taken care of. Now that decal sheet is completed. Got one extra Decepticon logo. And then we had the black option for the door. So now, <clears throat> and I was wrong, we've got these red stripes to also put on Soundwave here. And let me double check. The red stripe is going to go around the forearm. So let me see exactly where that's going to go. <coughs> okay, it looks like it's going to fit right in to that groove that goes all the way around the forearm. So pulling out the vinyl decal sheet, you got two smaller ones, which I believe those are going to be for the weapons. And these long ones here are going to be for the forearm. So go ahead and pull those off. Nice thin red strip. And for these, I like to always start on the edge, which of course I guess makes sense. That lined up just right. I don't have my glasses on this morning, so this is a little bit more of a challenge. You see these fine details. I'm looking over the camera to do this. So you guys can have a decent show. I guess I could have kept that in camera. All right, let's bring this down a little bit more because I'm having a fit getting this one applied. There we go. There we go, get it lined up. And now bring it all the way around. Keep it nice and tight. There we go. Oh, come on, stick, stick. All right, got that one in. Another very G1 inspired decal. I like that. So now let's do the other one and I'll save you some time. I'll apply it and edit it out so you guys don't have to watch me struggle so much again. Yeah, that one went on a lot easier when I wasn't trying to look through the camera and over the camera at the same time. So there is Soundwave complete. Now we'll move on to the weapons. And for these decals, it looks like there's two left. One's going to go on the blaster and then one's going to go on his shoulder cannon. So let's go ahead and peel this one here. This is a little thicker and this is going to go on the back of his concussion blaster. This will go right in that groove there on the back. Once again, if I can get, get it to stick and then bring it around, it has a little bit of lip on it. There we go. It's gonna go under and attach just like so. Whoops, did not mean to hit the camera. I apologize. So there we go. He's got an extra red stripe on his concussion blaster. And now for the shoulder cannon, I guess the red stripe's going to go right there on the front. So the shoulder cannon is only getting one stripe where the concussion blaster has two. You got the painted stripe from the factory and then the toy hacks one. Just one for the concussion blaster. Same thing, same size decal. 
and it's gonna go right in that groove. I guess everybody is out Black Friday shopping right now. Not me. That's what the internet's for. All right. So there is the concussion blaster all decaled up. Let's go ahead and pop that on Soundwave's shoulder. Put his weapon in hand. And there you go, guys. There you have Kingdom Core Class Soundwave all toy hacked up. And as usual, they did a fantastic job adds a little bit more personality to this already awesome Transformer figure, and I love it, especially all the G1 throwbacks. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that help keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!